Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. Just after 1 o'clock in Honolulu, 7 o'clock in New York. It is Thursday, third day of June, 2021. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. A virtual meltdown in the price of gold and silver as ADP's private sector's jobs report came out today and came in well over the estimates by economists. We'll talk about that in detail when we pull up our show, which begins now. After the release of the ADP jobs report, and that always precedes the Labor Department's jobs report, we saw gold and the other precious metals tumble, the dollar gets stronger, and craziness with the meme stocks. As far as gold is concerned, it is currently trading down $37.20, about a 2% drop, 1872.70. That, of course, did affect our stop. Our stop was at 1871. That was hit. The low today, 1866.70. We'll talk about that completely when we pull up our technical studies. While gold did stay above its key support level, beginning at $1,851, down to $1,847. That is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement at 1851, and the 200 day moving average currently fixed at 1847. We certainly saw gold prices tumble, currently down $37.20, with approximately 10 minutes before trading resumes in Australia for. Friday morning's trading session. That being said, we were stopped out when market forces took gold prices below 1871. That was where our stop was. We took a $30 hit on that trade, considering that the trade right before that gained about $46. We gave back roughly two thirds of the profit that we saw resulting in the last trade. Nonetheless, it was a brutal day for not only gold, but copper as well as silver, all trading lower with the dollar up about six tenths of a percent. 12 o'clock here in Honolulu, six o'clock in New York, and this small green candle here represents the trading range as gold reopened in Australia currently at 1873.60, putting it up 30 cents on the Australian Open. We will maintain a neutral stance with no active trades in gold as the jobs report numbers will be released tomorrow by the U.S. Labor Department. Silver dropped by 2.44%. That's a total of 69 cents with the most active contract currently at $27.51 and a half cents. We're looking at the most active contract of silver futures currently at $27.56. That is showing a net gain of approximately three tenths of a percent or eight cents based upon the close of trading in New York today. Of course, it is Friday morning in Australia, and we can see the current price printed and represented by this small dashed green line. We're now once again at the bottom of this trading range, though. If you recall from yesterday's show, we spoke about the fact that although silver had very, very strong gains yesterday, it is still trapped within a very, very narrow trading range. And until it breaks above or below these particular price points, we would have a neutral stance with no active trades in silver. Copper also dropped almost 3%, 2.68%, currently trading at $4.47. We are still long. Effectively, our stop did hold with the low of 4.43 or 4.42.95. Our stop is at 4.39. We'll talk about my analysis and short and long-term forecasts for copper when we pull up our technical studies. What is noteworthy when we look at copper is that it has managed to hug the 50-day moving average 
quite effectively. It had that one break just below it in February and in October of last year, but for the most part, over the last couple of years, has remained above that key level of support. Currently, $4.39 is where we are fixing our 50-day moving average, and that is also where we currently have our stop. We are long, and I still like copper. I still believe it has some tremendous upside potential, although we definitely have experienced a price decline since hitting a all-time record high at $4.80 back, I believe, the first week of May. You can see that here. And it is similar in terms of the depth or percentage drawdown during the correction. When we look at this correction here that occurred really at the end of February through April to what we're witnessing now in terms of a percentage drawdown in the big picture, it is still a very shallow decline. And as I said, I am extremely bullish long term. Maintain your current long position. Maintain Maintain your current stop in copper. I would even consider, if you have the funds available, to add to that position at this particular price point. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you, as always, good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up and review. Bye-bye.